in what he plays in and it's all got to fit around his running regime he does lots of running he admits he's not a great runner thank you for him but he enjoys it Ronnie and whatever he's doing it's working because he's absolutely relaxed out there yes absolutely it's just the freedom at which he plays matches it's almost as you said you know it's like he's down the local club just practicing it's uh well I say it's hard to do it's nobody really can do that I mean, at the end of the day, you're playing a snooker match, you want to win, but he's able to play his and take that away from himself and just play snooker and block out everything else, including his opponents. It's wonderful. as we've sung Harani that is probably the worst shot he's played in this match shows how confident he was or just to pop the red and stun for the black come on now Barry remember what you did in the first and you would have to say for most of the second frame it was unfortunate not to go 2-0 up in this match he's not really One. had a sniff since take this opportunity you would feel seven yes, he must almost feel as though he's got to win the frame from here which is not necessarily true of course but if one he gets in you can't help thinking that eight he will win the frame in one go goes without saying I think it'd be fair to say that this crowd in here is slightly biased there's more Ronnie O'Sullivan 13. fans in here than Barry Hawkins fans they would love to see this match get extended I'm sure 14 Obviously they want Ronnie to win and get into the final they'll be enjoying this that much they won't want it to finish too quick He's going to have to be careful here, Barry. Those two reds to the right of the pink are close to being a plant. If he went into them wrongly... Ooh, that was close. But it's OK now. 19. Well, you've seen how tight these pockets are then. I had a little riddle before it found itself disappear. Twenty eight. Now he can play into the pack of reds. If he decides so he's he'll still have the red closest to the corner pocket. 
And he's played that very well. He's got reds now to either corner. 35. It's all of a sudden, it's turned into a very good opportunity. I think he's speeded up his game a little bit, Darren, as well. He looks to be playing a bit quicker to me. Yes, I think that, that probably happens naturally, or Dom is... You know, sometimes when you're playing someone that's very slow and methodical, you tend then to get dragged into that sort of game. And the same thing, Ronnie plays that fast when he's in. I suppose 36. it's very easy to speed up, even if you don't want to. And uh, it is quite noticeable. I don't think he's speeded up loads. But... Uh, He's definitely playing a little more fluent than he was. <coughs> Forty one. Forty-two. This is a very good performance in this frame from Barry. After what he's been through in the last four frames, come back this way and make a break the way he has is very good. Forty-nine. Be disappointed now if he doesn't go on and win the frame from here. Fifty. Fifty seven. Barry Hawkins, 64. Oh, welcome back to all our viewers. This match here. Murray Hawkins broke down at a vital junction. Just needed one colour to secure the frame. So had to work for one more opportunity, which has just come here. Seven points remaining on the table, and Barry has a lead of 64. So, well, surely he'll go on and win this frame. And he does need very high value colours from here, Darren. Yep. Yeah, can you believe the shot we just played there? He snuck that head into the right centre, perfect on the black. Can't imagine for a minute he could clear it up and pinch this frame with this visit. If he did, what a body blow. He lost Eight. the second frame. Barry Hawkins, that is. 
from it looked like a Nine. winning position. And all of a sudden, it looks like he's going to get back on the scoreboard. And Ronnie O'Sullivan is still there, but that one has gone slightly awry. 16. Can he get through to this red? Just the corner pocket. He can afford 17. to take a blue as long as he comes and takes two blacks. Well, you would say now, Dominic, if he gets eye on these reds to get back for the black, the only awkward ball is now going to be the yellow. What a steal this would be. 22. That this would be utterly heartbreaking for Harry Hawkins. He's already made some... Fantastic clearances to steal the odd frame from Barry Hawkins. This would be probably the best. He's a little bit straighter on this black than he'd have liked. He had a right smile to himself. Ah, he's played a clever shot there. He's played this leave himself this red in the yellow pocket. I think he's landed on this absolutely perfect. A deep screw shot again. In it goes. Looks like he's straight on the black. If he'd had an angle on this black, I think we'd have seen him try to move the yellow down the cushion. So it's going to be another deep screw. Lots of bottom on the cue ball. Pretty shot like this yesterday and miscued. No problems today. That is looking absolutely perfect. So this is Barry Hawkins' last hope. 38. You could not put that cue ball better with your hand. Oh, How quickly this man can just take a frame away from you. Barry probably 43. cannot believe that he's... Not going to get back to the table in all probability. Forty seven. Oh. Is the wrong side of the blue. Fifty two. Well, use the cue ball. Oh. He couldn't have picked this cue ball up and put it any better. So Barry Hawkins started off with a 64 this frame. 58. And it looks like Ronnie O'Sullivan is going to clear up with 67 to pinch it. Well, what a ridiculous clearance that was. Barry Hawkins must have thought he was going to cut his deficit to two. But unfortunately for him, Ronnie's extended his lead. He now leads five frames to one. How must Barry Hawkins be feeling?